Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com. Today we're going to cover some basic cutting tools and techniques. For your general sewing and quilting crafts, I recommend a rotary cutter to cut your fabrics. This particular one has a 45 millimeter blade and that has to do with the size of the blade. These come in all different shapes and sizes and there's smaller blades and even larger ones. This particular one, in order to reveal the blade, you press it in and down and the blade pops out up top. And then to secure it back up with the safety shield, you press in and up. The rotary cutter goes hand in hand with the rotary mat. You have to make sure that you use these two together. The rotary cutter blade is so sharp that if you use it on any other surface, you're going to wreck both your blade and your mat. The rotary mats come in different sizes. For example, this little one here only measures about 6 inches by 8 inches, and this would be good for little projects like inches or fabric postcards. The next one I have here measures 12 inches by 18 inches, and this would be good for a beginner to start off with if you have a small workspace area. And then this one is the one I like to keep on my table, and it measures 18 inches by 24 inches, and this actually is my favorite one. I can work on all kinds of projects no matter the size. To accompany your rotary cutter and your rotary mat, I suggest you get your hands on some different rulers. To start off with, you're probably only going to need maybe one or two of different sizes to work on different projects. I'm going to show you some examples of the ones I use. This little one here is great for really tiny projects. It only measures four and a half inches square. The next one is a great beginner ruler. This one you'll be able to um, get a lot of different projects done since it's long-wise here and it measures 6 inches by 12 inches. You'll be able to even cut long strips of fabric and at the same time cut smaller pieces as well. The next one I have here, a lot of people like these squared rulers. This one is 9.5 inches square and it's a lot bigger. For projects that require you to cut maybe 6 inches square or 7 inches square when it's an exact square, this would be a great ruler to have. Since it's clear also, you'll be able to see the fabric right underneath to make sure you're cutting your exact size. This long narrow ruler measures 6.5 inches by 24 inches. And this is actually my favorite ruler to use when I'm working with long narrow strips of fabric. For example, when I'm cutting out the fabric to do a binding on a quilt or to make straps for a tote bag. Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and now I'm going to show you the difference between ironing and pressing your fabric. Before you start working on your actual project, the first thing you want to do to your fabric is starch it. What I like to do is to starch my fabric and then press it. This gives me a better working area and it makes it a lot easier to cut the fabric. So I just spray it. And I tend to spray my starch on the back side of the fabric because for a lot of my projects I work with fabric that has glitter or different shiny things on the other side and I don't want my iron hitting that surface. Okay, so I recommend you press on the back side of the fabric. This is the wrong side, that's the right side. After you start your fabric, what you want to do is press your fabric. Notice I said press and not iron. Okay, the difference between ironing and pressing is that when we iron our clothes, we tend to place our iron down and put some pressure on it, and we swipe in every direction in order to get the creases out. When we're working with fabric, we don't want to use this technique. Okay, what you want to do is literally press. So you want to take your iron and just press up and down, up and down. Do not swipe. Okay, that tends to skew the fabric. All right, so we want our fabric nice and crisp, but you still want to be able to get those creases out. So if I just continue to do this across my entire piece, just like that, and now I have a perfectly pressed piece of fabric. So now we're ready to practice and start cutting our first piece of fabric. The smaller your piece of fabric, the easier it's going to be for you to work with as far as cutting goes. So I recommend that you fold your fabric. Now, at this crease here of the fold line, that's a guaranteed straight edge. And whenever we're cutting, you want to make sure you're lining up one of the straight lines on your ruler with at least two straight lines on your piece of fabric. In this case, the first thing I'm going to do is to straighten off both edges. Okay, when you cut, we cut parallel sides one after the other. For instance, I wouldn't cut this side and then cut this side. Okay, I want to cut here, the parallel side, then I'll turn it and cut this side and then its corresponding parallel side. So the first thing we need to do to this piece of fabric is to straighten off the edges. Okay? So here you see it's a little bit rough and we have a piece sticking out there. I want to make sure that this is a nice clean straight edge. So what I'm going to do now is line up this straight line here on that fold of my fabric which I said earlier was a guaranteed straight edge so I know that that's straight. Therefore I know that this line is now straight. I'll take my rotary cutter and always cut with the rotary cutter away from you, okay? You don't want to cut towards you. 
You always want to cut away. I cut that. I leave my hand on the ruler and I pull away the excess fabric to make sure I got everything. Okay? That's a straight edge now. Now I want to cut the parallel side. So in this case, it'll be confusing for me to cut this way. So what I do is I flip it over. Now I line up my ruler again with the straight edge of that fold with firm pressure again on the ruler. Cut. Pull away the excess fabric. And now I have two straight edges. The next thing to do is to cut the other two corresponding parallel sides. So I'll turn it this way. See how we have some fabric sticking out there? I want it to be straight. Now I no longer have a fold down here. Now I have a straight edge that I just cut, so I know that that's straight. So I'll line up one of the lines on my ruler on that straight edge. And the same thing is going to be up here because that's the other side that I previously cut as well. And I know that those are both straight. So again, take my rotary cutter, cut, pull away the excess fabric, and that's a perfect straight edge. Now I'll flip it over and cut the corresponding parallel side, same thing. Line it up with that straight edge. Make sure it matches the straight edge up top. Rotary cutter, cut, pull away the excess fabric, and now I have two perfect pieces. They're all crisp and cut and ready to get started with the project.